Carolina Mukova versus Alina Rabakina is the third quarter final for the ladies for Indian Wells for 2023. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Mukova started the tournament unseeded and will take on Putin Sever in the first round. And after a close second set, she would eventually get through in three, 6 3, 4 6, 6 4. In the second round, she'd take on the 14 seed as a ranker. And after a tiebreaker in the first, Mukova would get through in straights, 7 6, 6 3. In the third round, she'd take on the 23 seed Trevison and again would have to battle through in three after dropping the second set, 6 4, 3 6, 6 Four. In the fourth round, she'd take on countrywoman and fellow unseeded player Von Drusova, who had just beaten Ons Jabur in the previous round. Again, Mukova would have to fight in three, 6 4, 6 7, 6 4, to get to the quarterfinals. We're back in the start of the tournament off as the number 10 seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Sophia Kennan, a fellow Grand Slam champion. And this would be a very tough match for Rabakina getting through in straights, 7 6, 7 6. In the third round, she'd take on 2021 champion and 21st seed Bedosa. And after a second set that was close, Rabakina would eventually get through 6-3-7-5. In the fourth round, she'd take on the qualifier Gracheva, who had just beaten Kazakina along the way. And this was by far the best match for Rabakina, getting through in straight sets, 6-3-6 love to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have only played the one time before. That was at the US Open back in 2019 with Mukova getting the straight sets win. But it's been a long time since then, and Rabakin has done some great things in the last four years. If Mukov is going to win this one, it's going to come down to injuries, because over the last couple of matches, she's wearing a lot of tape on her legs, so she's obviously coming in with something wrong with her, maybe with, you know, her thigh or her leg. So let's see what she can do with her movement, but she has to be aggressive and move Rabakin around and try not to move much herself. If Rabakin is going to win this one, she's a serve big, and she needs to make Mukov a run. Those legs are looking bandaged up. She's going to have to make her run a lot and get those legs hurting even more. Hopefully, Mukova can last the distance in this one, but it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. I'm going to go with Rabakina, though, in straight sets. She's just getting better and better as the tournament goes on, and it seems like that back problem she had a few weeks ago is starting to go away, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this quarterfinal?